Hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm not gonna talk about catching a fish. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of explanation videos about the game. Um, in this first video, we're gonna talk about the game menu that you see. Everything that you see when you first come into the game. Um, after that, we're gonna talk a little bit more about traveling, uh, rod setups, all that kind of stuff. But this is the first video of a series and let's check it out guys. If you like the video, video, don't forget thumbs up on the video, very important for the video. Uh, you can always consider subscribing to my channel for more videos to come. And I got a lot of videos on my channel. Uh, so yeah, let's go guys. All right, when you start this game, this is where you begin. And you can see I'm level 17. This is my second account. Uh, you start at Lone Star. You start fishing there. They give you a rod. Uh, and you can fish. Uh, here you got globe. So the globe, you see all the waters that you can find in this game. Um, first you only have Lone Star. But little by little you open more different waters. So if you click on like Lone Star. Then you can here in the left corner. At this moment my cam is on it but here you see travel and then you will travel to this water uh, lone star is free to travel because it's the beginner lake if you go to another water as you can see you need to pay and you also need to buy a license uh, lone star unlimited license you already got travel cost is zero so that's good if you go to a different water you're gonna need to buy a license uh, I always tell people buy this one advanced so you can keep every fish and you keep and you can fish day and night and it will cost you for one day 600 bucks and that's not a day in the game that's uh, 24 hours in real life so it will cost you 600 bucks for 24 hours real life to go fish there but if you want to travel there it will cost you 2000 so this is a little bit what I'm gonna tell about this later we're gonna um, I'm gonna tell more about traveling costs and and all that kind of stuff um, okay what do we see here this is the lake that I clicked on let's take Lone Star again no where is it yes Lone Star level 1 if you click on this one you can read a little bit about the water here you can see how many players at the moment are playing at this water 354 people are playing at this moment at Lone Star zero of my friends here you got the weather forecast um, it's I'm gonna explain uh, a lot of it later because when you get higher level it's important to uh, know something about water temperatures uh, wind and, and cloudy day uh, sunny day but the most important thing you need to know to start with is this this we call peaks and you want to fish in these peaks because it means in these peaks that the fish bite better so here you got a peak here you also got a peak and as you can see every day is different here, here it's very low and then you get one peak here is a very large long peak in the middle so in the peaks the fish bite better so that's what you want and I'm gonna explain one more thing because it's important to know if you're fishing and your net is full you don't need to go home you just skip to the next day um, I'm gonna explain that later but don't go home skip to the next day when your net is full all right here you can see what species of fish you will find at Lone Star, like the blacktail shiner, uh, the bluegill, uh, catfish, golden shiner, you, you pickerels, you find there sunfish, smallmouth buffalo, spotted bass. So here you can see all the fish that you can catch there. And maybe you already saw it and you think, hmm, common? 
common trophy. Well, in this game you can catch common fish, trophy fish and later you also can catch unique fish. Uh, the difference is in size and of course the XP and money you get. The bigger the fish, the more XP, the more money you will get. So here you want to find a spot at uh, Lone Star Lake where you catch trophy fish. Once you find a spot where you catch trophy fish, keep catching the trophy fish. Because the trophies, like the white crappy, will give you the most money and XP. So you got common, trophy and unique. This is about... Here we got the license, I already told you. This is about the travel cost, what it costs. In this water it's for free. Then we go to the next one, that's inventory. What do we got in our inventory? We got a little guy over here. And when you click this little guy, you see what you have over here. You can put in like a vest, a cap, sunglasses, a ground bait, a catapult. Uh, this is a rod holder. This is your keep net. Uh, this is where you put in uh, your rods and reels. So in this one I can put two rods, two reels, two lines. Uh, you got bigger ones later in the game. Uh, this is also uh, something to put stuff in. Here your canoe and your boat. So this is what you see here. Then you got your rods. This is rod number one. As you can see the complete setup. My rod, my reel, my line, my sinker, uh, leader, hook, bait and a little bell. So I can have two, two rods fully equipped. I can keep it in this over here. Then this is not interesting for starters. Here you can make uh, bottom recipes. So you can uh, throw in this to get bigger fish. But that's something for a much much later uh, moment. Alright, let's talk about the backpack. First you got your backpack. This is what you bring to the water. What's in this backpack? I can bring 10 uh, hooks, bobbers, that kind of stuff. Two lines, two reels, and ten uh, bottom baits. But this is not interesting. So as you can see here, I got some line and and some leader, um, a float that I win, hooks, and of course some bait. And in this case, flies. So that's in your backpack. But you also got a home storage. You don't need to bring everything to the water where you fish. What you're not using, you leave at home. So as you can see, I got a narrow spoon here and some red worms and dough balls, cheese bread. Uh, some more bobbers, some more line. Uh, another rod over here, the tailor float with the mini spin. Um, but I don't bring it to where I fish, so it's at home. Then you got some specials. This is empty, but if you uh, get a special item, it will go in here. Then you got some templates. I will this ex explain this later. Uh, you can put here uh, your entire rod setup. Like this setup I can put in here. Then I save it. So the next time I, I want it, I just go to templates, I click this, I equip it and it's there. As long as you got everything that you need for this setup in your backpack or home uh, storage. Then we go here, license. At the moment no license so that's what you see here then you got the shop and the shop is quite big guys because here you can buy rods and you can buy spinning telescopic match rods casting rods feeder rods bottom rods carb rods and spot rods in a later video I'm gonna talk about all the different rods that's the same with the reels you can buy spinning reels and casting reels I'm gonna explain later here you can buy normal lines, um, that's mono line, fluoro line and braid line. And the leaders, you have mono leader, fluoro leader, titanium and carb leaders. This also I'm going to explain in the next video. Like I said there is a lot to explain in this game. Then you got your tools and equipment and this one is a little bit important. Here you can uh, buy all kinds of stuff like sunglasses, uh, camo vest. 
where you can put some stuff in. Uh, easy go belt pocket, you can put some stuff in. But the most important thing here that you can buy and that you have to buy is this. That's your keep net. This is the most important thing in the game. You want the keep net to be as big as possible. Uh, because when your net is full, you need to skip to the next day. And in the first water it's for free. In the next waters you need to pay if you want to go to the next day. So the more fish you catch in one in-game fishing day, the more profit you will make. So this is very important. Always make sure that you have the biggest one that you can buy. But never spend all your money. Because later in the game you need money for licenses and to travel. Don't forget that. Don't waste all your money on stuff. Only buy what you need. Alright. Then you got some terminal tackle. Uh, bobbers, uh, sinkers, feeders, we're gonna talk about it, hooks, uh, the little bells that make a noise when a fish is biting. Uh, what do we got more? Yeah, later we get much more, but for this moment only this is interesting for you guys. Um, then we get lures. Here we find all kinds of casting spoons and jigs and jig heads with sheds. This, this two you can combine. Uh, mini bass jig. Uh, all, all the lures that you need for lure fishing. Casting spoons as you can see here. Slop spoon. Uh, I'm gonna explain later in another video again. Uh, all the different uh, spoons and maybe how they work. Then. Here you got the common baits, like the bread, red worm, cheese, pearl barley, pet food. And now you guys think, yeah, but what do I need to buy? That's a good question, that's a good question. I'm gonna show you, you go to this water, and I already showed you that here you can see the fish species, isn't it? So if I'm gonna click on the golden shiner, here I can see what baits he likes. He likes dough balls and semolina balls. Um, the channel Catfish, he prefers pet food, leeches, small cut bait, large cut bait, blood, and even lures. You can catch them with cross and crayfish lures. So that's how you know what you need to catch a certain fish. So if you're fishing here and you think, yeah, I really want to go for the crappies because they are trophy, they give good money and XP. Fish with marshmallow, maggots, waxworm, bloodworm, or small minnows. This is the baits they like. Uh, if you want to go with a different setup, you can use these loos, nano spoons, nano spinners, tubes and grubs. That's what the white crappy likes. So that's how you know what you need to buy for catching a certain fish. All right. So that's about the baits. Then you have ground baits. I'm not going to tell anything about it. I'm going to do it later. It's a little complicated for when you just start. Then of course you have some boats that you can buy. Uh, as you can see you can buy uh, a kayak. That's the first one you can buy at level 15. And after that yeah you can buy another kayak. You have this one. Then you got some nice boats. And you can make it as expensive as you want. I own this one of course. Uh, this boat cost 391,000 bucks in the game. So it's quite expensive. But that's for later. Uh, here you got the license. I already explained a little about it. Then you got service. And here you can buy marker boys. It's all with bait coins. Uh, these marker boys, if you catch a beautiful trophy fish, you place a marker in the water where you catch that fish. So you can keep fishing at the same spot. Uh, I'm gonna explain more later. At the moment I'm in this video I'm only going to talk about um, what you see and what you can do. These are tackle slots, like I said, storage boxes that you can buy. And then of course you got the premium. And here you can buy a lot of stuff. Uh, the most important I think, if you want to buy something in the game when you're low level, is this premium. Uh, premium is very, very nice. Privileged angler status with 50% boost to your experience points and credits you get for selling fish. So you get 50% more money and XP if you have premium. 
so would I get premium yes I think this is very nice if you start playing this game if you're low level uh, you can also buy some pawn pairs and of course some fishing pairs uh, sorry packs all different kinds uh, when I was like level 30 or so I bought me this one the deluxe pack uh, we're gonna talk about the packs later sports pack we even got events pack very soon we will have this again very soon we will have tricky treats spooky fishing it will come very soon then you have some tournament packs because you can do tournaments all right this is a little bit about this then you got sports and sports is competitions uh, there are competitions in the game and yeah when you're higher level a little higher level there are also beginner uh, competitions like uh, a Neherin here you see one uh, do we have more let's check uh, tomorrow here is even one at Rocky Lakes amateur Tiber amateur so you can check it out read uh, read everything what you need to do here you can see what what you need to do you get one point for a fish so maybe later on that's interesting to do and you can win some nice stuff some special stuff uh, often you win stuff you cannot buy in the store so that's why it's interesting to do comps all right so then we got custom competitions uh, these are uh, sponsored competitions you can win uh, very nice stuff but that's also for a later uh, video then we got tournaments uh, fishing planet uh, does tournaments the last one was a car tournament uh, this time uh, at 1810 2022 they will start cars and glory uh, also for later and then you got hall of fame you can see who won like the last uh, comp that was the C mighty car tour that was the last uh, tournament here you can see the 10 people who went uh, 1 or 1 to 10 so that's what you see here then you got your name and what do you see when you click your name you see your name you see your level your bait coins and how much money you have here you see how much experience you have at the moment 10,279 this is what you need for the next level so you need a little bit more this is how many fish you caught the common fish you caught the trophies and the unique fish you can see it here um, competition is for later you can see how many third second or first places you have won uh, here is your fish record what what fish you catch and what's your biggest uh, as you can see my biggest at the moment is this one 1.341 uh, kilogram it's a unique colorado golden trout at rocky lake with the date uh, even the bait that you used here you can see challenges that you already did and challenges you still need to do um, you can see if you do this you will be rewarded two coins this one also two coins this one also two coins you need to catch 50 fish after 9 p.m so there are many many of of these challenges that you can do and you will get money and and coins and all that kind of stuff <coughs> excuse me so that's that's quite interesting for you guys uh, always do uh, the missions uh, you see them here so here you got the missions like you start with explorations and exploration means try to catch all these fish so you need to go to Neherin and you need to catch a pumpkin seed a radar sunfish a white crappie a black crappie and once you did this they will give you one bait coin 1300 bucks and some shrimp as you can see uh, then you got like Neherin uniques if you do this you get one bait coin 1500 bucks and a beautiful glowing bobber so there are many 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 you can do 
I completed a couple of them, not that much yet, because I'm only level 17. So here you can see the ones you still need to do. There are also fish monsters. It's quite funny to do that. Here you're gonna catch um, a monster, the Mad Eye Buffalo. Uh, I got a video on my channel about that. You know, if you want to know how to catch him, uh, I got videos of the fish monsters. So this is about the missions. We already went to the name. Then we go here. Here we got um, global game attack, rank level, weekly experience, fish. This is the number one player at the moment. You also have that in competitions. You can see who's the best in competitions. Here you can see who catch the biggest fish. Lemony675 catch the biggest fish in the game at the moment. It is 204.927 kilograms and it was a fighter shark. So here you can see you can even search for players. You can search for a certain fish. You can search for a young, a common, a trophy or a unique. And you can search for every water that you want. So that's about the records. This is your friends list. As you can see, you can find somebody over here. If you type in the game attack, you find him, you, find a, you send him a friend request. And then he will be your friend in the game. Um, when you go fishing, you can do a, a room where you fish only with your friends. But I'm going to explain that later in the next video. Alright. Then here we got a question mark. So here you can find quite some information about inventory, shop, fishing, licenses, Lone Star, navigation, controls, and MISC, uh, fish sellout, fireworks. So this is uh, a little small um, tutorial. They're not crazy big, but they tell you a little bit about everything in the game. Then you got your game settings. And here you can do metric or imperial. Uh, I'm from Europe, so I fish metric. You can change your language here, whatever you want. Here you got some hints, that's always good, I keep it on. Um, this is my setup, bite indicator, visibility, yes. Um, show characters, yes. Um, you can fish simple, then you only have this when you have a fish on, or this. I always use pro. You can choose the size of your bobber, small, medium or big bobber, whatever you want. You can put it here. Uh, mouse control, you can find it. Key mapping, you can find it. Controller, video, it's... Yeah, this one is maybe interesting for you guys. Make sure that floating, float fishing bite sound is on. So, if you fish with a bobber and there is a fish at your bobber, you will hear ping. So, you, you will know, whoa, there's a fish. So, turn this one on. And I think this is it. I think this is it for talking about the game menu. I believe we had everything that we needed. So in the next video we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, traveling, uh, going to the next day, um, buying licenses, traveling costs, uh, some rod setups and that kind of stuff. Uh, this was the first video guys. Um, if you play on Xbox or on Windows Store, you can always send me a friend request. My name is Gaming X Harry. It's not a problem. You're welcome. Um, guys, I hope this video uh, gives you some information and I hope you like this video. Please thumbs up under the video. And hopefully I see you guys in the next video because there is a lot to explain of this game. And this is just the first video. So guys, thank you for watching and enjoy this beautiful game. Tight lines.